Hello fellow space trucking citizens, my name is Simon aka Space Banana and today we are back with another three chill trade routes, this time all around Hurston. We haven't been here yet in our little series and now this has to change since Hurston and its moons offer a few but pretty valuable trading routes. Again, as in the last video, I'm not recommending specific ships, instead I'll put a little table for each location with initial costs, selling price and total profit. However, the available supply may vary and chances are you're not able to fill your ship up entirely, even though I've looked for possibly the best spots. So consider the charts as best case scenarios. We start off by running Laranite from Ariel to Lawville. We have two locations, HDMS Bestec and HDMS Lathan. Choose anyone you prefer, but before exiting your ship, make sure you're properly equipped. The surface on this moon can reach extreme temperatures. A quick trip between your ship and the terminal will be fine with just a basic undersuit and helmet, but if you plan to stay a little longer and explore, bring something heat resistant. Now we head inside the storage facility and buy as much Laranite as possible. Depending on your ship or the available stock, you may want to visit both places on this moon before taking off to Lawville, just like in our case, where the actual supply was pretty low, so I approached the other location as well. And even here I wasn't able to fill up the C2 entirely. However, if the odds are really not in our favor, we could consider filling up the empty space with titanium, which isn't exactly the best resource to trade, but with a profit of around 150 AUEC per SCU, it is still better than leaving with a half empty cargo grid. Now we are heading towards the Tisa spaceport at Lorville. If you're relatively new and have trouble finding it in this dystopian mess of a city, just follow the slope down from the massive Hurston Dynamics building. The actual spaceport signs are not super obvious, but once you know what you're looking for, you're gonna have an easy time from now on. We land and store our ship and head towards the metro station. We need to take the commercial line, color-coded in a bright green, which takes us straight into the massive building mentioned just a few seconds ago. Once we arrive at the train station, there's basically only one way to go. We keep going and after a couple of rooms and hallways, we turn left and follow the signs saying transfers. Even though this time we're only selling half a cargo grid of Laranite and the rest being titanium, we still made a decent profit. After trading our resources, we just take the same way back that we came from. And just a little fun fact, up until one of the most recent patches you could actually fly your entire ship into this building and land it right at the train station, if you could manage to do that. I don't have any footage recorded, but here's me taking the hover bike straight into the CBD after dropping it down the ramp of my C1 at the train station. Fun times, but nowadays you're instantly being relocated if you try that. Anyway, trade route number two, diamonds from Magda to Lawville. Again, there are two locations, HDMS Hahn and HDMS Perlman. However, both sell at a different price with HDMS Perlman being significantly cheaper. Both locations come with a max stock of 1000 SCU and filling your ship up will cost you quite a fortune. But out of all three trade routes, this is the one with actually the biggest profit. We got lucky and could fill our entire ship up the very first try. Again, if HDMS Perlman is running low on supply, just head to the other one. Now let's fly towards Lawville again, this time being extra careful as blowing up our ship right now would hurt a little above average. Then again, something with trains, something with trading and then something with profit. Absolutely wonderful. And for number three, as per usual, another endless supply of barrel trade. This time brought to you by wonderful viewers of mine. We are heading towards ETA, with again two places to choose from. HDMS Woodruff and HDMS Rider. Now it really doesn't matter where you go, both come with a massive stock of 30k SCU and an identical price. I'd probably choose whichever is on the sunny side of the moon, simply for convenience. One thing to keep in mind, 
ETA happens to have some massive winds going on. It is super important that you actually turn off your ship's engine and when exiting the ship be extremely careful as the wind can easily knock you over and do some heavy damage or in rare cases straight up kill you. Also walking against the wind is annoying as hell so try to land as close to the terminals as possible. It is of course not required that you actually land on the pads. I've just got used to do so simply because trying to balance a C2 on uneven terrain can cause some problems. Either way, fill up the ship and head towards Lawville again. Now, since you won't encounter any form of supply shortage, you could grind this route for hours. In the previous videos I've compared round trip times for barrel trades from Microtech to actually calculate the possible profit per hour. Now HDMS Woodruff and Ryder are not the cheapest locations to buy and Lorville CBD isn't the best location to sell, but the trip is relatively short. So how does running barrel around Hurston compare? Well, with a round trip time of around 22 minutes and a maximum profit of 292k AUEC with a full C2, this trade takes the current number one spot, averaging around 800k AUEC per hour. Running barrel from SMO10 on Microtech to Orison, like in the first video of the series, averages around 730k AUEC per hour. And running from SMO10 to New Babbage by taking the surface level entry, like in the last video, will make you just below 700k AUC per hour. Very cool. You could probably earn even more with a bit of optimization. Thank you guys for recommending those spots. Now, if you have any routes you like to take, suggestions, criticism or feedback in general, just let me know in the comments. If you thought this video was helpful, consider a thumbs up and if you're enjoying my content, I'd be happy about your subscription. That is it for now, thanks for watching and stay safe out there.